Welcome back to the show once again. Time for some delicious food and also a celebration. And our next guest, uh, the poor, poor soul, just returned from Hawaii, but he was there working. Yeah, we feel really sorry for Nathan Tonk. <laughs> working of on course. the tan line right working, here. Yeah, that's, right like, here. that's how you always line. know it's when really you take the nice. ring off and you got the, yeah. <laughs> Gong hei fa choy. Gong hei fa choy. Now you're, you're wearing a lovely New Year's jacket here. A little form-fitting, don't you think? I love it. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's got the purple, what were you saying before, it's built in for the Yeah, the after the Chinese banquet, you can fill it up. Yes. You know, man. So what do you do for uh, for New Year's? Uh, we eat. I like lot. that. Uh, when does the eating start? Is it Tonight is the big, big, big night. And we're Chinese New Year's Eve. Most of the families get together. And it's the time for Thanksgiving for your whole family. And eight or nine courses usually. Eight for good luck. Are they luck. traditional courses that you have on New you Year's? You always have chicken. And that's why we're going to start with a chicken salad. This okay. is a little contemporary. And I'm infusing it with tea. Now, this is really interesting because there are a lot of great teas out there. You just you just smell the aromas of them. This is delicious. four o'clock tea. Um, it's the wild berry. And I made um, apple cider and apple juice, which I infused the tea with. And it's very, very berry. So this is just, is it reduced a little bit? Um, I just steeped it for five minutes. Okay. And you get that nice color. And red is good luck for Chinese anyway. Oh, is it? That's you know. nice. Oh, perfect. And then the chicken here, I steeped this in chicken broth with this lime ginger tea by 4 o'clock. And lime ginger, of course, is the perfect flavor combination for chicken, which Great. is fantastic. Yes. So I'm going to, one of you guys are going to start the salad. Just throw okay. all the veggies in. For, Forget those okay. and start ripping up some cilantro. I have some mint, some savoy cabbage or napa cabbage, bean sprouts, red onions, uh, hey, celery. Let me help. <laughs> Please do. We can do there that. And meanwhile, I'm going to do the dressing, which is um, uh, mustard, Dijon mustard, and then I have the infused apple cider with the on uh, the berry, the wild and you berry. And use a nice grainy mustard. The there grainy too. mustard. Yeah. And I've got some chives, some Italian parsley, some olive oil. Mmm. And this looks like a really nice, fresh, colorful salad. Nathan, does anything change sort of traditionally in, in terms of food depending on the year? Like, is there anything that you would do for. No, you, you year traditionally of the have things like lobster or crab because that represents the dragon. Right. Uh -huh. And then you have chicken, which is always prosperity. You always have noodles, which uh, means long life. And. Um, Oh, there's always something that has a meaning. Do you get any heat from people for uh, going a contemporary route instead of the real traditionalist? Or? I'm cooking with tea, which is traditional. There you go. People That's really like traditional. Traditional. I mean, traditional. Yeah, well, I love it. I think it's a great idea. Now, the Lunar New Year, we are coming into the year of the, the rabbit. Rabbit. The rabbit. What is the rabbit? Uh, I, I was going to do a rabbit dish, but I this didn't think rabbit would be too cold. Doesn't it seem a little. something a rabbit would eat. It seems a little sacrilegious <laughs> to actually make whatever year it is. I think so. Remember that dragon stew we had? But cooking with tea has been always a, it's good for antioxidants, it's yeah. really good for, you know, the Chinese have been smoked with tea, their, their chicken with tea or duck with tea. Here I'm infusing it with tea. No, we've Great used idea. the lime uh, ginger, ginger with the chicken. So the how did chicken. you do the chicken then with this? So that's um, chicken broth, some ginger, a little bit of soy sauce, bring it up to a boil. I added a couple of the tea bags, the lime yeah. ginger, let it steep for about five minutes so it's nice and concentrated. Take the tea bags out, throw the chicken in, bring it up to a boil and just cook it for about 20 minutes. That sounds really nice. easy. Yeah, really yeah. easy. So, we'll uh, move okay. this over right. here. Let's move everything uh -huh. out of the way. Look what a good job we did. It looks so pretty. That's very pretty. Oh, and then so. you're going <laughs> we to... We didn't do anything. <laughs> put, it, put a little pile on there. Oh, I was just going to use my hands. They're no, washed. Oh, oh, gross. Your hands are clean, aren't you? My hands are clean. His are dirty. Yes. Is and that enough? Yeah. Oh, you know, well, well, that was a yak yeah question. No, no, mark. That's, that's a really cute portion. And then I, lo I like. <laughs> well, I'll just leave this here then. <laughs> I like shred. Well, that's your portion, actually. Oh, this perfect. is Fee's yeah. portion. A little more and like a it. little bit of chicken on top. And then I like, you can put cashews or peanuts. I have some little almonds Yummy, on top. Yummy, a little crunch in there. A little crunch and texture. And then I have a nice, the little dressing. I'm just going to pour. No, I missed the last. Did you add? Buttermilk. Buttermilk to yeah. this. Yeah. That's so, an interesting thing. Just yeah, give a little bit of texture yeah, and flavor. Yeah, a little bit more creaminess to it. Yeah. So it's got the mint, cilantro. It's very Southern Asian. And the chicken Fresh. Chinese cooked with tea. Healthy, antioxidant. This is healthy. And then you don't have to feel guilty about eating the noodles. And your article today is uh, sort of along the same theme? Stir frying. And there's a chicken dish in there. There's some there's prawn dish in there. And it's Chinese New Year. It's good luck. Nice. Day. Well, I hope you don't have to travel anywhere hard like Hawaii in the near future, Nathan. <laughs> Was it tough? <laughs> it's very tough. I know. It's I know. Really tough. I had to. I had to eat. 
<laughs> what did you find in Hawaii? You were in Waikiki. What did you find there that was your favorite dish? There's so many great restaurants. It's actually the 20th anniversary of the Hawaiian regional chefs this year. There, there, there's a, a whole group of Hawaiian chefs that do great food. Now, I, was it you that was talking about the fresh market that yeah. you have there? Yeah, the, the, the farmer's market on, on Saturdays. Yeah. It's incredible. And it's very um, Asian inspired to yeah. influence. Yeah, and it's so great, close, right? great, great food. You know? Marvelous. Well, well, and you, if you went there right now, this is actually the last year that you can shoot off fireworks from your backyard in, in, in Honolulu. <laughs> I'm going back. <laughs> because you buy. <laughs> Nathan's you, eyes light up. You can oh, buy oh, big, up. big mortars and you can shoot mortars. them from your backyard. Backyard. That seems like a it's great like idea. It's like you can do the same thing, yeah, right? Just let now, it all Nathan go. Nathan has been nice enough to give us a great giveaway. All you have to do for your yeah, chance no to win a big tea gift so you can uh, make some great food. It's the 4 o'clock, 4 o'clock tea, oh, right tea samples. Yeah. There you and go. And it's all of the different flavors. All you have to do is email urbanrush at shaw.ca for them. the 4 o'clock tea set. You can also go to Nathan's website to find out what he's up to and some great information about food, fongonfood.com. And Thank now you, so you know much. how to Thank use them to infuse. Thank I you. Know. Thanks,